What's up guys? In this video, we're going to look at five plugins that are going to dramatically improve your sound and workflow in FL Studio. Now you already know FL Studio comes with a phenomenal selection of instruments, effects, and plugins. These five can do some of the things FL Studio can't do. You can put a warmer, more analog, and vintage vibe into it, and you'll be optimizing your tracks for streaming platforms like Spotify, SoundCloud, or YouTube. Also leaving you with presets to make that a little easier for you in these platforms and others with the WLM Plus plugin. So make sure you check the link in the description. Right now, we've got the plugin spread out across tracks. Here's the before with the plugins bypassed. And now with them on. With the same plugins, we can vibe the whole thing out and give it a lo-fi effect. Before we get started, make sure you take a moment to subscribe to keep up with the latest news, tips, tricks, and more from Waves Audio. And now, let's dig in to plugin number one. Plugin number one is Abbey Road Vinyl. Now, if you're looking to give anything a retro touch, a lo-fi grittiness, or that vintage record feel, this plugin is the way to go. All the controls you need to give your sound an authentic vinyl vibe. You've got vinyl noise, the crackle and clicks, full control over how dusty you want to get it. Another trick you can do is sidechain and trigger it to a ghost kick just to breathe it in with the drums. Additional controls include mechanical wow and flutter. You can select from different turntable styles and cartridges. You can also move the tone arm, changing the position of the needle, giving you a different frequency response the more you increase it. A trick I like to do is insert it on the last slot on the master, then on vinyl, just move the tone arm up and down real quick. And since vinyl is a third party plugin, you want to go to tools and select last tweaked, and you can see Abbey Road Vinyl is highlighted. And then you want to select Create Automation Clip. On the Automation Clip, draw a slope like this from the start to the end of the track. Now I'm going to do this on a short loop just to show you what I mean. And now your music will behave sonically just like an actual record. Check it out. As it plays, the needle moves closer to the center, giving you that authentic vinyl feel. And if you produce boom bap, lo-fi, or chill hop, you definitely want to check this plugin out. Plugin number two is the Chef's Omni Channel. Now, if you want console sound or analog color, or even if you're just looking for a great sounding and easy to use channel strip, you definitely want to check this one out. All the basic processing you need in one focus place. So let's check out the five modules as I shape out these vocals. Yeah, you don't see what I see, so I'ma do what I please. Uh, you can rearrange any module you want in any order. Let's start with the gate first to reduce background and breath noise in between the words. But you ain't good on me, yeah. You don't see what I see, so I'ma do what I please. Kill that be, trip it cold in my freeze. Each one of those words, every letter I read. Next, we can use the pre or preamp to add warmth and color with saturation and harmonic distortion. Yeah, you don't see what I see, so I'ma do what I please. Uh, kill that be, drip it cold in my freeze. Each one of those words. We can filter out any low end or top end saturation. With the filters down here. You ain't good on me. No, no. Don't talk to my plug now. Unless your flex is real, I don't care you get struck down. All right, next, let's use the compressor. Now, on the Omni Channel, you get three different types. The settings are the same for each unit, but you can dial in a setting and see which unit works best for you. The VCA is super fast and transparent. Yeah, you don't see what I see. So I'ma do what I please. Kill that be. 
Trip it cold on my freeze. The fat is a little slower and adds a little color and aggression. You got that, that. But you ain't got it on me. No, no. Don't talk to my plug now. Unless your flex is real. I don't care, you get struck down. And then Opto is slow and super smooth and warm. No mic, I don't shut down. No vibe, I don't come out. No, no, no. Running through the city in the night, yeah. Next, the D2 or de module gives you two de And using two de is great on a vocal because you can use one to tame the harshness. Kill it like me. Drip it cold on my freeze. Each one of those words. Every letter I read. And the other to tame the sibilance in the top end. I do not make the rules. No icy, no bust down. No mic, I don't shut down. No vibe, I don't come out. All right, the plugin also gives you an additional insert slot where you can put any Waves plugin anywhere in the strip. Just hit the plus sign, open up the plugin list, then scroll through to find what you need quickly. So I'm going to use the Kramer Tape plugin just to give the vocal a nice slap back delay. More on the Kramer Tape in just a minute. Now, after the adjustments, let's A B it real quick to hear the difference. You don't see what I see. see. So I'ma do what I please. I please. Uh, kill it like me. Yeah. Drip it cold on my freeze. My freeze. Yeah. Each one of those words. Every letter I read. Free. You got that, that. Yeah. But you ain't got it on me. On me. No, no. Don't talk to my plug now. Unless your flex is real. Uh, I don't care, you get struck down. Yeah. All right, now an even faster way to get started and hear what the Omnichannel is fully capable of. Just open up the preset browser. Type in what you're looking for and you can preview presets for just about anything on the fly. If you're used to creating your own channel strips or using the patcher in FL Studio, you're going to find that working with a single channel strip allows you to work a lot faster than tweaking individual plugins spread out across the screen. No, no, don't talk to my plug now. Unless you plugin number three is the Kramer Tape plugin, one of the best ways to put analog warmth and tape saturation into FL Studio. I've got this piano line going here with the stock FL keys. Then we can use the Kramer tape to dirty it up. We can add a gritty vibe to these bells. We can beef up the synth bass line. If we group these together and insert a filter with a mono EQ, we can give it an even more low fi vibe. More on this EQ in just a minute, but first, check out the harmonic distortion we can add on these 808s. You also want to try putting Kramer tape on your master. Just a little goes a long way for adding richness and a vibe to your whole mix. A must-have for FL Studio for getting tape saturation, harmonic distortion, and old-school analog warmth in your tracks. The number four plugin is the F6 Floating Band Dynamic EQ. You can make typical static adjustments just like with the stock EQ, but unlike a static EQ, where the cuts or boosts stay constant over time, dynamic EQ works both statically as well as dynamically or only at specific moments in your sound or mix. We've got this kick and 808 going here. And now with the F6, you can sidechain and duck the frequency range of the 808 only when the kick is present, carving out that space for both of them in the low end. Now, 
Now on a vocal, you can make your typical EQ adjustments. No, no, don't talk to my plug now. No, no. Unless your flex is real, I don't care you get struck down. No, no, don't talk to my plug now. No, no. Unless your flex is real, I don't care you get struck down. Yeah. I do not make the rules. But you can also set it to act dynamically to do things like the S at the same time. So using the built-in analyzer, you can pinpoint exactly where any problem frequencies are coming from and tame them only at those moments when things are getting a little too harsh. No, no, don't talk to my plug now. No, no. Unless your flex is real, I don't care you get struck down. Yeah. I do not make the rules. No icy, no bust down. No mic, don't shut down. No vibe, don't come out. Another issue this EQ solves is getting vocals to stand out against instruments in the mix. With mid-side processing, we can carve out a space for the vocals to cut through in the mids and leave the sides on the instrument group unaffected. Every letter I read, read. you got that that, but you ain't got it on me. No, no, don't talk to my plug now. Unless your flex is real, I don't care you get struck down. Extremely useful for carving out space for track elements in between mix buses. Having a dynamic EQ like F6 is a must-have for your toolkit if you want to get surgical, solve problems quickly, and take your mixes to the next level. If you know you're flying with me, take it higher. We just grind it, it's always on my mind, yeah. The fifth plugin for FL Studio is the WLM Plus Loudness Meter. If you're uploading music to streaming sites, this plugin helps you find the true perceived loudness of your tracks. Now, you want to have this plugin inserted on the very last insert of your master. Now, let's take a quick listen to the track. First thing you notice is the minus 11 here on the LUFS or LUFS meter. LUFS are loudness units full scale, and this reading right here is how streaming platforms set level consistency for the best listening experience. So we just played the track for a quick reference, but you definitely want to play the whole thing to make sure you're getting the long-term measurement as well. Now, each streaming service has a slightly different loudness target. For this quick example, we're going to adjust for SoundCloud, which is currently minus 13 LUFS, so we're going to adjust the target down here. We'll set it to minus 13. All right. And now the other important thing to look at is true peak. So on SoundCloud, the true peak limit is minus 1 dB true peak or dBTP. So we're just going to set the true peak max to minus 1. Now, if you've ever mixed a track that sounds amazing on your system, but when you upload it to, say, SoundCloud or another service, it just sounds squashed. Now, this is because you uploaded the track either too loud or beyond the true peak limit. In the encoding process on the platform, put a limiter on your track. So we can turn on the limiter of the plugin just as a security measure. And since our track is too loud at minus 11 LUFS and true peak at one, let's play it back and use the gain control to bring it down to our target. All right, so when you hit the target, you'll get a green check mark right here. And we can see here on the decibel true peak, we're at minus one, which means it's optimized and ready to upload. The Waves Loudness Meter Plus is a great plugin to have in your FL Studio toolkit because it allows you to measure and adjust your whole mix so you know confidently that your track is hitting the right loudness for listeners across streaming platforms. There you go, five must-have sound tools for FL Studio, but Waves has got a whole lot more to extend your creativity with FL Studio, so definitely head over to waves.com FL. I also left you with a link in the description for some additional presets for the WLM Plus plugin for SoundCloud, Amazon Music, Tidal, and Pandora. So if you upload to those platforms, definitely check that link out. Until next time, thank you for watching.